Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and wow, um, this is a bit of a magical mystery tour. <laughs> um, this is a Christmas present. I went shopping the other day and couldn't find the pink Adidas hat that my niece had asked for. And so I rang her, I said, look, what else do you want? They don't have pink. Um, I said, they've only got white. So unless you want me to do an Auntie Mickey magical pour on it. And she's like, oh, would you? And I was like, oh, how cute. She's 11 and she's so excited about me painting. So, um, so we're going for a magical mystery tour. She did ask for a pink hat. So I'm going to target to try and get... Um, as pink as possible um, and uh, yeah I've stuffed the inside of the hat and I'm I've put some of the what's that stuff called um, liquid latex on the Adidas symbol it is a plastic symbol so it should come off reasonably easy anyway but just my added protection um and i'm gonna do mostly pink but she did say she also likes purple and green and blue and of course you know sparkles are always good for a girl so we're going to be adding some gold and some silver so i've got these laid out we've got reeves light green reno art crimson red mixed with white um this is a purple that i've made um and that is the Reno Art Crimson Red and the Reeves <coughs> Thalo Blue and White. I've got some berry, just a little bit of that metallic. And I've got gold and white. And I've got some white, obviously. So, uh, I don't really know what to do here. I'm going to try and let just tiniest little drop of green tiniest little drop of dark phthalo blue um and try and keep it as pink as possible and i'm gonna do a flip cut i've seen this done on a pair of canvas shoes and uh she did it with pouring and i'm going to be a weirdo and try it with a flip cut what I have had the awareness of though is that I probably do need to be um, putting a coat of just plain white just especially around the sides to guide it to hit once it, the flip cup hits it to give it something to smear down <laughs> I don't know ah yeah I do so okay so here we go I'm going to Let's start off by creating our flip cup. I'm going to put some white in the bottom. Um, now, some of these have silicon and some of them don't. So, we'll start with some pink. And then I'm going to go some silver. And then I'm going to go some purple. And then I'm going to go some gold. And then I'm going to go some more pink. And then I'm going to do that tiny little bit of green. I have no idea whether this will actually even show up. But I don't want it to overpower. Um... And then I'm going to scrape the last of my berry out. My white definitely doesn't have silicon. Um, and I'm not really sure what else does and doesn't, to be really honest on that. Um, so let's go for some more pink. Go for some more silver. 
and go for some of that phthalo blue just because we can and the rest of the purple can't even see my cup I'm sorry so when you're mixing purple always start with the red and add the blue that's my tip of the day start with the red and add the blue in because otherwise you end up with a really dark purple that you just cannot get enough red into to make it into anything uh, and then I'm just going to put a dash of white yeah, pressure through that to do a bit of mixing so there we have our cup and so I have here mixed up my um, house paint acrylic semi-gloss um, just gonna see that that's what I'm going to try and avoid is the it's just all running off in one spot if we've got damp it might actually just sort of slide evenly the other thing with it being cloth I really don't want it to um, eek where's that coming from With it being cloth, I really don't want it to uh, to dent like this. Otherwise, we're going to end up with um, hollows of really thick paint which doesn't bode well for it being wearable um, now as you can see that stuff I've already put on has almost dried instantly so I'm going back round putting another another coat over that as well as trying to spread out over the rest of it as well if this is boring for you just skip to when I pick up the cup again <laughs> that's up to you I have no point of view at all if you decide that me painting things white is boring because <laughs> I do that on other people's videos too okay it's really super hot in my studio right now okay so I'm just going to stick this up under my stuffing see if I can push some of those dented bits back out And get rid of that lump. Alright, so we have the cup. Um, it's going to have to be a, um, a quick flip because I can't turn the hat over. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, this is not 
gone as I had planned. How's it getting any better? So, what's right about this I'm not getting? It definitely is. Got pink and purple. And the next tool of choice. Let's get some more pink happening into that purple patch there. Into this purple patch here as well. Now you know what? I think I've got most of it covered. Oh, there's a beautiful gold streak through there. Okay. I'm going to go back in with that stick. It's actually a paintbrush. Hmm. You guys can't see much. Sorry. Um. Okay. Taking my gloves off. Um. What do I know? Let's show you it. Let's have a look. So here we go, around to the back. Sorry about the light from the window. Definitely got some pink in it on the sides. It's quite a big purple splotch up there. And the top's quite funky too. I like it. So I'm gonna pop you back up and let's give it some torching see if that creates any more magical cells okay now I'm be really really careful with this because mainly I want to get the bubbles out because with it going on to oh, look at that oh yummy Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm seeing because your angle's not quite. We've definitely got some cool cells happening. Let's 
So let's get you down again and show you those. All right. Look at all those cells. It's not the easiest way one to video for you guys. Sorry, it's um. There are some. Oh, there you go. Some pretty cool cell action here on the front. I think I got a bit close there, but check out this, eh, eh, that bit there, oh. how does it get any better than that, I love it, so what would it take for this to dry, looking fabulous, be a wearable piece of it, art, How's it getting any better than that? All right. I'm not so sure I like the peak, but that's just my interesting point of view. Okay. There we are, guys. Thanks for joining me on this magical trip, and I will put on the end of this video her reaction to it, and you'll be able to see her wearing it. And uh, how's it getting any better? Cool. Thanks guys. Have fun and I'll be back shortly. Ella, 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 Ella. Just Very you need cool. to check that paper again in a minute, but put that on. Oh, <laughs> very, very.